gonna do a little round trip action video i've got a little playlist of these videos down there in the description if you want to check them out what these round trip videos are is i take a load of scrap metal to the scrap yard and then scavenge on the way home here's some stuff i showed or uh, i didn't show on video coming home the other day from uh i think i'm home from the store i picked up a bunch of this stuff dvd player that actually might work I better hang on to that, i suppose but the, the usual scrap fan motor wires little heater dealy in there But I open my eyes, pay attention to where I'm going. What do you think? Okay, then. <laughs> That's going to be hard to carry now. I've got a lot of people in the comments wanting to buy this snail. Um, I really like keeping this stuff for myself. <laughs> but uh, I suppose if the price is right, I think this is pretty old. See the discoloration where it shifted in its frame. I gotta get to the scrapyard. I'm running short on time. So I'll take this load in here. This is the stuff I found in my last video. a new sign I probably came in on a scrap load a little scooter competition pulled in while I was sitting here okay I'm real pressed for time gotta just rip through this we got some uh, copper here tin shed garbage bucket there number two insulated copper wire and cans that and we got some aluminum breakage over here this is all aluminum breakage whatever that was ice maker weather stripping on aluminum a little hair flat iron uh, part of a doorknob light fixture part of a swiffer uh, cast aluminum off this brass faucet here brass 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 aluminum Bicycle frame, Swiffer handle, license plate pot off of a, a that's a pot, dirty pot. This is off of a ceiling fan, and uh, this will probably go tin shred because there'll be like gaskets and stuff in there. I'm gonna go tin instead of short steel. I got a little motor. Oh, you know what? Shoot, they locked up my tote. <laughs> Anybody see it over there? Looks like I'm. Looks like I'm one tote McGee today. First up, vacuum cleaner for configure. One last time, at least. Dude that lives here. Got a little fleet of scooters. See this cooler here? Before the days of DoorDash and the numerous other food app delivery, this guy was delivering local food around here. He's been doing it for maybe 10 years at least, I think. I think he does pretty good too. I don't know, 
know how the digital age is affecting him, but he's still in business. Now we're cooking. My last video, I saw the air conditioner, a window air conditioner. There's a garbage disposal with a cord. So the window air conditioner, and it's talking about how it's illegal to cut cut them open to get the aluminum copper radiators. Uh, also known as ACR. I always thought they stood for air conditioning radiators. <laughs> 12 years of doing this, found out on YouTube, it's ACR stands for aluminum copper. Air conditioner's not bad though. Come on, man. Give me a break on that. But, uh, this is a, like a stand-up indoor air conditioner, it looks like. And uh, let's yank it out of there, see what we're dealing with exactly. I don't see the compressor. <clears throat> so someone has done me a favor here. And uh, I'll get this in my tote in case someone tells me to leave. But, uh, See how the copper lines have been cut. There should be one around here somewhere. See that right there? That's what I was talking about. The gas comes flying out of there. And if you get caught doing that, you can get fined and stuff. So uh I think uh it almost looks like someone came along, a scrapper, a scavenger came along and did that. I don't see the copper lines in there. You would think they would know, unless they were on foot, didn't want to carry the, something that size, but. That was a nice little sight. That whole thing's a copper pipe. Let me get this wire off of here before I take it to the yard. But that's nice. Of course, there'll be a little more copper coming off. Bigger air conditioner, but those are two nice little pieces. I'm not sure what the deal is. Someone took that apart for some kind of reason. I don't know what they're after. Perhaps it was broke and they tried to fix it, but that wouldn't explain cutting the copper lines off. Hard to explain that one.
of this rain. Hold off. I don't see anything wrong with this board. That is used. A little chip there. I just need to find boards that nice, don't we? Those are old and broke. Stuck. Call them scrap. Recall them. What do you call this? Is that my floorboard? Get it?
<clears throat> well, that's actually brand new. Now that I threw all the rubber in there, it comes out of the bottom of the sink. Um, it probably might have been worth a little money. Well, it's always worth money to scrap yard. Uh, Now what am I supposed to say? <laughs> oh, it's missing the it's missing the lever and the nut that goes on there though. It's incomplete, I guess. Probably just better off going straight to the scrapyard. There's lots of stuff you can find, you can fiddle with and try to make more money if you want, but I'm just kind of set in the way I do things. That's a brand new piece of carpet right there. That's a nice scrap, actually. That's got some size to it brand spanking new um i'm all stocked up on that for my cats and stuff that stuff is good for making whatever size you want of course if you have cats or dog cats have a tendency to pee on their pads after a while it's any kind of like sleeping pillow you might buy at the pet store or something they usually end up peeing on it <laughs> after a while good thing about this is it's just disposable you know just toss it back in the garbage when you're done with it. A couple more chunks down there. This piece is brass. Sometimes it's hard to get those off of there. It's nice enough to behave itself on video. Uh, aluminum breakage on that. Aluminum breakage on the lock. This is gonna be tin on that. A dead bolt dealy. And then this guy, some nice wires on there. That ballast might be worth taking off to someone that lives somewhere where it's more valuable than tin. I think it's actually less less than 10 right now so I'll just leave it alone and I'll cut those wires off later
mystery cord. What do you think it is? All right, put put it down in the comments. Oh shoot, we can already see it. There's a little motor. I do believe I feel like a humidifier. Never mind, ruin the surprise. <laughs> How about I put the side with Texan down? <laughs> Oh shoot, I was gonna take the motor off this Farkle. I've been talking about this. Last video I tried to take one off and it was an oddball deal. Here's what they look like. A little tiny guy on there. Compare that to my last video if you watch that. That big round motor that was on there. But uh... I'm using one tote so I can't lift it up. All my tools are buried down there. I'm not gonna dig dig all that out. But uh, get a little something out of the deal anyway. But uh sitting up off and that's just all the wall. Anyway, so I there, get off the Hold on there, Speedy. Farkle. 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 It's a Farkle festival. 
Here, Farkle, Farkle, Farkle. Speaking of the devil, see that right there? Oh. Yeah, that's a full bottle. Yeah, that's not a bad scratch. And plus, unfortunately, it's touching that filthy cat bed. That's just, it's just dank. Just, I don't even have a word for it. <laughs> dank. Stank. This, oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to see. Hopefully this wasn't touching too much. Hopefully that bed wasn't resting on it. Let's see. Oh, it smells like incense. Let's see. That's actually a nice scratch here. Ah. If I were touching that thing, I would know it. to uh, let my cats shred this thing. Let's go from there. It's a piece of steel, little corn cob holes. If you're making a cornbread or something. What's up, man? Not bad. You want to take a spare? Yeah, it's yours? Uh, no, but, uh, you can take there? That's nice, sir. I think the tank's leaking. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's caulk or something. Yeah. Oh, something. That's a nice piece of equipment, but... Yeah. Oh, that probably works. That patch is probably good enough. Yeah, it's probably got some kind of... That's an expensive little bit. Yeah, that's my time. Yeah, that's my time. It's nice. It's nice to be missing this car. That's what's happening. I wonder. I'll leave, but I do have a little piggy tail. I'll leave a little piggy tail if someone's coming on and dust it out. I don't know, YouTube. Hey, take it easy. <clears throat> Not too often, no personal. Yeah. Get a big dog poo out of the... <laughs> out of the Hindu dumpster for everybody else. Dug this out from under the boards there. It's starting to rain, so I gotta keep my lens pointed down. Uh, that's a weird looking deal. It's got Velcro on it. Is that like a sander or something? Oh shoot, that's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. No batteries. Hey, there's that. There it is. It is a sander. Look at that. Neat. 
somebody might do something. It's a problem with this stuff. You either find the batteries or the or the tools without the batteries usually. But if you wanted to start it hanging on to everything you found, eventually, <laughs> next year sometime, I'll probably find the batteries for that. I did that with an Alienware uh, PC tower, really expensive gaming PC. I found, like shortly after I started making YouTube videos, and I actually had the exact power adapter for it in storage that I found maybe four years prior. I thought that was pretty cool. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to test it, you know, unless you, unless I wanted to buy like a, I think like power, power cord or the power brick for the Alienware PC, I think it was like 80 bucks or something stupid like that. So obviously you can't go around buying specific cords and batteries just to see if something works, you know. <laughs> You cost yourself money time and time again. It's starting to rain pretty good now. So uh, I'm gonna head towards home. These are the exact conditions for a rainbow and there it is. Rainbow conditions. There it is, look at that. That's the boot. Oh, there's the other end of it over there. We got four We got four Then spring over here. Like that forward. Right there. Right there. Right there. Second Oh, yeah. Like, you three of us. 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 We think about that. There it is. Oh, that's bright. Look how bright that is. Ultra bright. Oh boy. I'm gonna go through this little town here. In between where I'm at now and home. Let's see what I can scrounge up. I've got sky action. The dumpster full of gold <laughs> at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> They'd probably break YouTube if I were to find a piece of gold right now. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> $2,000 ounce of gold, but it's a 50 cent copper cord. <laughs> Does that count?
Hey, look at it. You know what? Shoot. That's not gold, but that right there is a brass and copper radiator. That thing's worth about 30 bucks. Check that out. Okay, so the battery died there. I apologize. That brass copper radiator actually is probably about $40. It's heavier than I thought. That's a good, thick, chunky one. It's nice. Uh, find out next time I go to the scrapyard I'll show that on video so that was a nice a nice video for all kinds of nice scrap we got some copper brass copper radiator aluminum copper radiator there was also those old shocks were sitting with that uh, brass copper radiator battery died I just went up to Walmart found this cool little stand I think it came out of a, a flea market booth but oh, it's pretty slick and uh, the word processor and a vacuum cleaner cord. Let's go figure, huh? And there was some either deep, either a dish detergent or bubble, bubble, uh, liquid, blow bubble, liquid, whatever I'm trying to say, in that mason jar. So, I think we got that. And I guess that's gonna wrap up the video. I brought the cooter. I brought the pooch. Oh, you take pooch. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. It's good to see you. Have a good day. Or night, or whenever you watch this. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> it's good to see you. Ready. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little session. Uh, nothing real super amazing, but uh, that was a nice way to end. A little double rainbow and a $40 item sitting there. We think you don't find those too often. That's a it's a bit of a, a rarity. But uh, anyways, as always, thanks for watching. You can go get something to eat. You wanna go for a walk? Come on, let's go. Come, let's go. Let's go. Maybe we go find a rabbit. Go find a rabbit. Come on, Pokey.